So Professor Kristen Sosolsky, thank you so much for joining us for the Learning Science Lab Coffee Hour. Thanks for having me, Sean. I understand that when we all moved to remote teaching, you had an especially tricky situation because you were scheduled to teach an experiential learning course in Panama. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you end up teaching that class? Well, Sean, honestly, I thought it would be next to impossible. How could I bring students to Panama without being there in foot? Yeah. And as I started asking these questions together with my colleague, Harry Chernoff, who co-teaches the course with me, we realized that it's the people who make the canal run, who develop the real estate, and why not just get them all together on Zoom? I know a lot of other faculty are thinking about how to bring in other voices into their remote classes. So if you had to give just a few points of advice to a colleague that was preparing to have a guest speaker in their class, what would you suggest they do? Prepare your students, prepare yourself, and prepare your speaker. Make sure your students are prepped with questions to ask. Make sure that you're prepped to MC or to facilitate the conversation. And make sure you meet with your speaker ahead of time. Yeah, so you had your students prepare questions for your guests in advance? We did. We did. And how did that change their kind of readiness or response to when your guests arrived? Well, what was amazing is they were, they were completely prepped on who the speaker was, the business or organization that they were representing. And so they didn't ask questions that were pretty basic. They asked questions that were really about the daily operations of their business. Given that you're able to do um, a class like this in a remote environment, do you think that brings up any or makes you rethink some misconceptions around teaching online? Absolutely, Sean. You know, I, I think one of the biggest misconceptions is that teaching online means that you have to replicate what you would have done in the classroom in an online setting like Zoom. I think the best part about Zoom and, and teaching synchronously online is rethinking your content for a new modality. I wanted to thank you again for joining us for Coffee Hour. Um, we hope that you stay healthy and happy and good luck for teaching the rest of the semester online. Cheers. Thank Thanks so much, Sean. Mm -hmm. Cheers.